welcome to my studio. Today we wanted to show you the boa wreath and this is a real simple fun wreath and we're going to have a great time making it. So let's get started. I went into the Dollar Tree the other day and I found a bunch of boas there for the Halloween costumes and also a wreath, a styrofoam wreath. So for about five bucks we can create this fun Halloween boa wreath. And I started by taking the ends and trimming the knots and the tags and everything off. And I tried to leave a little bit of the end on. I actually untied some of these knots because we want to pin into the wreath. So there we go, right about there. And then I'm also going to glue the ends just a little bit so they don't come all the way unraveled. So I'm just going to hot glue that guy real quick. And this was going to go really fast once we get going. I didn't glue it on, but I've got it um, hot, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I actually pin them on. So with straight pins, and I just put my straight pin right in, and I put two or three in each one, and I'll go back and stick those down just a little bit. Those are a little bit cooler there. And then I just started wrapping it around. And you probably could use three of these and do it, but I like four. It's just a little bit fuller. So I'm only going to think about doing a quarter of my wreath. And it's going to give it a nice kind of puffy feeling. If you had a not as many feathers you might want to paint your styrofoam the color of your feathers so none of that would show through if it was thinner. I think we're pretty good there. So we've come around to the end and we're going to do the same thing again. And the rest of these I think I already have undone and tied. So Just going to trim that off, leaving about an inch to stick my needles into. I'm just using Play-Doh straight pins. If you wanted to use floral pins or whatever you wanted, that is fine too. And just glue that in a little bit there just so it doesn't come unraveled. And then we're going to start with our next one. Now this guy I've already had done. So staying with the same direction, kind of picking up where we left off, just pinning him in and continue working here, trying to keep him untangled. Now, I don't want that guy to show. And the bow has come in all kinds of fun colors, but I wanted purple for Halloween. I didn't find any orange ones or black ones, but it was at the Dollar Tree. And we want this about halfway down. Glue my end. We don't hot glue onto the styrofoam. Remember, it does melt it. So we, that's the reason we pin onto styrofoam. And right where we left off. I throw straight pins at my cameraman here. This would make a real cute um, wreath for a little girl's room too. A princess room. Call it our princess room or a princess wreath or our boa wreath. But it's super fast, super easy.
and you just do a, do a bigger one, just get a bigger styrofoam wreath and you'll need a few more of the boas, but what still an expensive item can you do that with? our last one here. Just make sure none of your wreath is showing. And we're going to meet up exactly where we began. And I've got to scoot that over just a little bit. And bring that right in there as close as I can get to the first one. You may have to kind of move your feathers around to kind of... I can feel where that one is. Make sure you get those pins right in the middle. And see there is our little princess wreath. And we can put a bow on it. A bow would be really fun to put onto it. Purple one, silver one, all kinds of fun things. I'm going to use this for my princess pumpkin that I'm making this year to kind of set that in the middle. I'll put something a little bit under that to hold that up a little bit, but as a centerpiece as well, don't think just wreath. I also have some berries and some black purple roses that I'm probably going to go ahead and put on with this with a bow and just stick those straight into the styrofoam and I think that will be really cute, but there's tons of uses that you can use that for and the boas are a really good time to find them at the dollar stores doing Halloween time and if you find an orange that would be even funner yet so come on over to my website at miriamjoy.com there's the YouTube link where you'll find a lot more of these including our little princess pumpkin that we're going to be doing for you as well thank you God bless you.